hi everyone in this video i want to show you how to create a private methods in interface so as probably you know that this feature is introduced in java 9 and java 9 onwards we can able to add a private methods in interface and i'm going to show you exactly how we can create a private methods in interface and how it increases the re reusability all right as we know that java 8 allows us to include default and static methods in an interface for example so look at here we can able to add default and static methods in an interface in java 8 okay and java 9 onwards we can able to include private methods in an interfaces so these private methods will improve code reusability inside interfaces so let me show you how, how it increases the reusability and let me show you how to define a private methods in the interface and how we can call these private methods inside interface all right so let me quickly create default static and private methods here so first of what i will do uh, i will create an interface here like this and i will create an abstract method public abstract and i'm going to call it as abstract method okay now i'm going to create a default method here public default and i'm going to call this method as default method okay and inside this I'm going to just print default method okay so this is the implementation of default method now let's create a static method I'm going to call the method as static method and here we just will print some message like static method now in inside interface we have created abstract method default and static now let's go ahead and let's create a private white and i'm going to call as private method okay and let's print a sys out here and here i'm going to just print private method all right and this is the simple private method now let's go and let's create a private static method private static while and i'm going to call method as private static method okay and just print some message like private static method okay so look at here in the interface we have defined abstract method default method static method private method and private static method so in order to add a private methods in the interface make sure that you should have added java 9 to the class path for example in eclipse go to the build path and look at here i have added jdk 8, uh, jdk 9 all right because private methods are introduced uh, in a java, uh, java 9 okay great now let's create a class and uh, let us test this so i'm going to create a class here and i'm going to call this class as main and let's create a main method and i'm going to implement the interface implements custom interface all right i'm uh, uh, we need to provide an implementation for abstract method here so i'm going to just put, you know provide a sysout here and i'm going to print abstract okay abstract method very simple and inside a made method let's go ahead and let's create a object uh, here i'm going to use an interface reference here equals new and i'm going to call some main and let's go ahead and let's call the default method first and let's go ahead and let's call uh, static method call the abstract method first and in order to call the static method we can use the interface name 
and we can call the static okay so so usually uh, how we call the static method so we no need to create an object of the class to call the static method we can use the class name to call the static methods right so similarly uh, the static method static methods we have defined in interface we can call them using interface name so look at here custom interface is the name of the interface and we are using it to call the static methods we are not using a uh, object of the uh, you know uh, main class here all right it's great now let's go and let's run this program and let us see the output so look at here we have called a default method which will print a default and we have called abstract method and static method now we haven't used private methods yet all right so what we can do is whenever we define a private methods in the interface we should use these private methods inside the interface itself now let us see how to use this private field so private method so here we can call here private method and inside a static method i'm going to call private static method okay and let's go and let's run this program here i'm going to call so we'll get here private method default methods abstract method private static method and static method all right so in this way we can you know uh, create a private methods inside a interface all right so if you have a common code inside a default or static methods so what you can do is you can create a you know private methods and you can reuse that code uh, in a respect to default methods for example uh, i am going to create uh, one more example to demonstrate this and i am going to call this interface as custom calculator all right and here i am going to define two default methods so let me quickly write the code and let me explain you so look at here in a custom calculator interface we have defined two default methods and this is the private uh, method and this private method we are using to you know to extract the common code from the these two default method so this is the add even numbers and this is the add odd numbers method and if we don't use private method then we can write a duplicate code inside these two methods right so to avoid that we can write a private method with a common logic inside it and we can call it from these respective methods that is what i have done here so this is the lambda expression and we can just assign this lambda expression to the functional interface like this and we can use this functional interface inside a filter so here what we are doing is we are using stream with an array of number and we are filtering based on the condition and based on the condition we are just uh, sum the numbers okay so the condition is either even or odd pretty simple right and let's create a class to test this so i am going to call this as a main or app okay and here i am going to create a main method and this app in, in implements custom calculator and here oh, we are going to create an object of the custom calculator here okay and uh, so let's call the add even number and here i'm going to pass one two three four five six seven eight nine numbers and i'm going to just take a result sum of even number and i'm going to print to the console all right and 
let's uh, go ahead and let's call the add odd numbers and just pass the same numbers and let's let's store it in some integer variable sum of odd number and just go ahead and just you know print this sum to the console great that's it so i hope you understood this logic so what we have done inside a calculator custom calculator interface we have defined a private method here so the common logic from these two default methods we have extracted and we have you know uh, created a private method with a, all the common code here and we are calling this common code from these two default methods and in an app class we have implemented this custom calculator interface and we are just calling add even numbers and uh, add odd numbers methods and we are getting a result out of it and we are just printing to the console it's pretty simple let's go ahead and let's run the program here is the output so we'll get here 20 and 25 all right so this is how we create a uh, private methods in our interface uh, java 9 onwards all right so i hope you understood so if you don't know uh, about the lambda expression or uh, functional interfaces then visit my previous video tutorials where i have defined you all about lambda expressions and functional interfaces all right so subscribe to my youtube channel whenever i will publish a new videos you will get notified thanks for watching i will see you in the next video